I'm coming. How was your morning? Want one? No, I don't want one. Well, I have some interesting news for you. Where were you, Tess? West End District. Hey, we had a drop to make. We. We had a drop to make. Well, you wanted to be left alone, remember? So I'll take one guess. The uh, whole deal went south and the client made off with our pills. Is that about <laughs> right? Deal went off without a hitch. Enough ration cards to last us a couple of months. Easy. You want to explain this? I was on my way back here and I got jumped by these two assholes, all right? And yeah, they got a few good hits in, but... Look, I managed. Give me that. Are these assholes still with us? Well, that's funny. At least find out who they were. Yeah, look, they were a couple of nobodies. They don't matter. What matters is that Robert fucking sent them. Our Robert. He knows that we're after him. He figures he's gonna get us first. Son of a bitch, he's smart. <laughs> He's not smart enough. I know where he's hiding. Black Hill, you do. Old warehouse in Area 5. Can't say for how long, though. Well, I'm ready now, yeah? Oh, I can do now. All right, guys, welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered. 20 years in the future, and shit sucks. The checkpoint's still open. Only well, a few hours left until curfew. Well, we better hurry up then. Wait, are you serious? I gotta serve the damn papers this morning. I've been selected for outside work duty. Ah, oh, that's such crap. The soldiers are supposed to handle the outside. I'll make sure to tell them that. So I like how they're kind of already breaking tropes with Joel refusing to drink. It's like normally the main character in this game would be like a grizzled alcoholic by this point. But he was just kind of like, nah, I don't play with that shit. Attention. Citizens are required to carry a drink ID at all times. Compliance with all city personnel is mandatory. Look at that. Ration line hasn't opened yet. Must be running low again. So you can come up and kind of screw with these guys. If you get too close, they push you away. Next time I'm gonna put a bullet in your head, you hear me? And he's not kidding either. You do that again and he shoots you. So, you don't want to do that too much. Look at this shit. I wish I could zoom in right now, but I don't think I can. Clean. Get a light. No. I'm not infected. It's Hold her down. Do it. Please. Eyes forward. Alright. She's down. Fuck this. Oh, shit. Shut up. Consider yourself lucky. Radio. Right. Seems like more Tess people just are like, getting infected. That just means more people are sneaking out. She's just like waiting. What's up, Joel? Hey, what's up? Here they took Marianne. What happened? Came and snatched her in the middle of the night. Said she was a firefly. You believe that shit? Mm, better not mention the fireflies too loudly. You don't want the wrong person hearing you. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. They fucking lynched him. The entire squad? Yeah. The way I heard it, they lined him up in the street and cut him up. 
Retribution and shit. If we ever lose control of this place to the stragglers, that's what'll happen to us. That would never go down here. Any straggler even looks at me the wrong way, I put his ass down. I'm sure that's what they thought at every other QZ. They died right in front of me. Damn runners fire. came out of nowhere. Am I supposed to tell their families? Yeah, people out here like to run their mouths. I got us all new papers. They shouldn't get us any static. Okay, cool. I can do right. that. Drive on through. See you later. There you go. What's your business here? Got the day off. Visiting a friend. All right. Move on through. Thanks. So the controls are kind of like the exact opposite of what they were on the PS3, which kind of screws with me every now and then. Like L1 and L2 are like completely switched from what they used to do. So much for the easy route. Patch yourself up, all right? Equip the health kit with up, oh, hold R2. See, I'm pretty sure it used to be R1 on the PS3 version. They're gonna close all the checkpoints. We're gonna have to go around the outside. Outside the wall. Or we could just let Robert go. <sighs> Cute. Hey, Tess, you see that shit? I was there. Hey, how's the East Tunnel looking? Yeah, it's clear. I just used it. No patrols. And where are you off to? Gonna pay Robert a visit. You too? Who else is looking for him? Uh, Marlene. She's been asking around, trying to find him. Marlene? What do the Fireflies need with Robert? <laughs> you think she'd tell me? Well, what did you tell her? The truth. I got no idea where he's hiding. Good man. Hey, you stay out of trouble, all right? Military's gonna be out in force soon. Yeah, see you around. Yeah, so there's a lot of spoken dialogue in this game, and I'm trying not to talk over it, because I think that would be super annoying. Marlene, but it's also hard to... Robert? What do you make of that? I don't like it. We better find him before the Fireflies do. Uh huh. It's hard to find time to say anything substantial because <laughs> you're just constantly getting cut off. This is us. Hey guys, how's it going? <sighs> Shit's stirring up out there. How are we looking over here? Uh, think why. No signs of military are infected. That's what I like to hear. Joel, give me a hand with this. Okay. So they're pretty, uh, they're not very overt I'll about, like, out there. everything that's happened in the 20 years since the virus broke out. You kind of have to glean it, like, piece it oh, together yourself. God, this place reeks. I need to watch what they throw away down here. There'd be light. And I don't think they ever go into, like, a whole lot of detail about it, but here. basically... The military really cracked down and set up quarantine zones everywhere and they kind of run like almost a fascist state now in the name of like keeping everybody safe <clears throat> and there's a militia group called the fireflies that basically rebel against the military and uh, try to like set up their own states and they're also looking for a cure whereas the military is just interested in kind of just living life and not looking for a cure I'm not a lot of ammo. Mm, the shots count. Alright. All right. Boost me up. Got a weapon with four shots. I like that I can actually see how many rounds I have. I should explain that. So this is hard mode. You ready? There are two difficulty yes, levels man. after this, I think. There's at least two. One of them's like Survivor, and the other one's called Grounded. Grounded is like the hardest one. Come on. And I've played about half of the game on that difficulty. There's a lot of things that are different. One of the things that's different is that you cannot see how much ammo you have uh, on your HUD. You can. The only time you can see is when you select a weapon like this, but it's not just constantly there on your screen like it is now. 
and you have no idea how many rounds are still in the chamber or the magazine. So you you really have to keep track of your shots and be, be like be counting them as you fire them and collect them. It's crazy, man. It's really realistic, but be careful. It's not something you're used to doing in video games, you know. A trick question. Now, if there's one thing I hate in video games, it's like a pet peeve of mine. Ain't been out here in a while. Hold on. It's like we're on a date. Well, I am the romantic type. Got your ways. Uh, if there's if there's a pet peeve I have in a game, it's when you're forced to like walk slowly and you can't run or do anything else. Where's the ladder? I kind of got to be now. around here somewhere. I think that whole thing started with Gears of War. It's like that thing they do, like whenever they're talking on their comms in Gears of War, they put their right, hands up to their over. ears, and you just have to walk super slowly everywhere you're going. Kind of hate that. And they do do that in this game from time to time. I think it's usually because they're talking to somebody and they don't want to interrupt first. the conversation, though. Lady, you must be thinking of someone else. <laughs> it's all relative. This way. Alright, now it's opening up a little bit. So this game is all about collecting stuff. Not necessarily collecting, but I guess you would say scavenging. You gotta find supplies, you gotta find ammo, and there is a lot of stuff to collect too, like stuff that doesn't actually add anything to your gameplay experience, but just like documents and stuff to find. Which I don't, and oh, and there's firefly dog tags, pendants too. It's, they don't serve any purpose other than just giving you something to look at and something to collect if you like doing that. I'm more about finding the practical stuff, the stuff you need to make supplies, like med kits and bombs and stuff like that. <laughs> we'll get into all that later. Ones. For his sake, he better. Look, once we get our merchandise back, it should be easy to unload. Well, speaking of merchandise, when's that next shipment due? Oh, we're meeting Bill next month. More pills, lots of ammo, supposedly. Hold up. Spores. <laughs> Bill. Remember that name. Where the hell are all these coming from? The place was clear last time. They're coming out of something. Stay alert. There's our culprit. Body's not that old. Better keep your eyes and ears open. So when an infected person dies, they start releasing the that will infect you, okay? you if you breathe it yeah. in. Yeah. Damn ceiling's falling apart. Be careful. This way. Which is crazy. Easy. She's up. Watch it, watch it. Help me. My mask broke. Don't, don't leave me to turn. Please. What do you want to do? You know what, especially since they're nice enough to give me two extra rounds. I'm gonna do it. Poor bastard. All I know is that I would want somebody to do that for me. I would want a bro to help me out. And if you're watching this video, do me a favor. Drop me a comment and promise me that if we're ever in the zombie apocalypse and I get bitten or infected or whatever, you will shoot me in the face. I'm giving you my express permission to shoot me in the face if I'm ever about to become a zombie. And I promise that I will do the same for you, because that's what friends do. They shoot each other in the face in the zombie apocalypse. Alright, some shit going on up here. Hold R1. See, I'm not used to doing that either, because in grounded mode, you don't have this ability. It's just not a thing you can do. But on the PS3, it was R2, so I'm probably going to be doing that constantly, because I'm not used to switching it up yet. So that's how you silently take out stuff, sneak up behind them. Hit triangle to grab them, and then hit square to strangle. It doesn't cost you any supplies, but it's a little noisy, takes a little bit of time. But that's probably what you'll be spending the majority of your time in this game doing. 
<laughs> Health is full, so I can't take that. That's just like a consumable item. It doesn't, uh, you can't like take it with you, you can only use it on the spot. And it only restores a little bit of health. Is there anything in here? Why did I come in here? Okay, great. So the infected in this game are a little different from regular zombies. Well, they're not zombies, first of all. I, I kind of hate when people call, when use, people use like infected and call them zombies. Like they're not the same thing. Zombies are reanimated dead people, but whatever. Um, the, the infected in this game don't respond to light. So you can walk around with your flashlight on as much as you want. They're not gonna care. They only care if they hear you or if they get a direct line of sight on you. That's really the only way you can trigger them. So as long as you like keep being stealthy and take your time, this game's not overly difficult, especially on this setting. Um, still, oh, here's a collectible. Note to brother. Now there's a lot of these in this game, and there is a lot of stuff to read, and a lot of it is really cool because it adds a lot. As much as everyone complains about it, you got all these poor bastards wishing they were living on the inside. Right. Um, it, they really add a lot to the atmosphere of this game, and that's like the biggest draw of this game. Like, I like the gameplay just fine, there's nothing wrong with it. But the thing that makes this game stand out is the atmosphere, the attention to detail, and just like the emotional response that you get from playing a game like it. Alright, that's all of them. Let's hope so. So, but since there's so many of those notes, I'm probably Let's I'm not going to read all of them out loud because that would take forever and probably get really boring. Uh, but I I will like show them up on the That's screen the and pull the text up. And I recommend we'll that you pause it some of them, them air yourself, if you want. Dave. They weren't expired. That'd be a good idea. And now I feel bad because I keep talking over them. I'm trying to strike a balance between commentary and letting here. them talk. Hmm, I thought there'd be some supplements out here. Maybe you don't even find those yet. That's half of this game, guys. It's just like... <laughs> scrounging through every environment trying to find stuff. Especially on hard mode. Hard mode's not nearly as bad as grounded mode as far as being stingy with items. But it's still pretty stingy. You can't just go using stuff willy nilly. You got to use your stuff intelligently. Damn it! The plank fell down. <sighs> All right, I'll get it. Be a deer, would you? <laughs> I'll get it. Yep. yep. This is kind of what passes for the puzzles in these games. Here, pass it to me. <clears throat> you gotta like find ladders and planks to get yourself across places. It's usually nothing too difficult. It's a bit heavy. I think I can handle it. All right. All right I gotta get back up there. I think I go through here. There we go. Get your ass up here. Let's move. Bossy today. <laughs> So one of the most impressive things about this game, honestly, is that, like, I'm pretty sure every environment is unique. In a lot of video games that are large like this one, they'll, like, reuse a lot of, uh, assets, a lot of environments. You'll see things copied. You'll see, like, rooms that look exactly the same. Dead Space 3 was really terrible about that. Um, this game, not so much. Like, I don't think I've ever seen... Make sure there ain't any soldiers around. ...anything Clear. reused. Yeah. Which is like super impressive. Like I really appreciate that. It's the kind of thing, like I said, a lot of people will never even take the time to see it. But I like taking my time in a game and like appreciating all the art. Because everything you see in here, an artist had to like take time to create it. Like literally everything. And I don't know, there's something about that that's just awesome to me. Oh, what's down here? Not a damn thing. 
All right. This looks like a room that would have something helpful in it, but it doesn't. I forgot to mention, those little uh, mechanical pieces I picked up earlier, uh, I don't remember what the game calls them, but they're basically upgrade parts for your weapons, which uh, you can't really do yet because you have to find a bench, but that'll come. Hey little man, make sure the coast is clear. No soldiers, I'm just kidding, no I'm not going to shoot a kid. Man, yeah. That'd be messed up. Although, if a kid was ever going to get shot in the face, this would be the no, game where it happened. Well, that'll make it more interesting. Actually, that kind of already did happen if you watch the intro. What am I saying? <laughs> That's like the first Let's thing go. that happens. Come on. Jesus. Hey, Tess, hey, Tess. Hey, pretty lady, how you doing today? I heard you Not right now, it. Terrence. No, 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 it's, it's, it's good. Look, Not I now. You hear me? Okay. It's kind of annoying how they put all these, uh... Like... Like cubby holes and alleyways back in the opposite direction of where you're going. So you want to go check them out, but there's hardly ever anything there. But, like, I gotta check it out, you know? If you ain't got ration cards, don't even waste my time. I'm, not I'm a wall crawler. Yep, we're starving. Keep your shirt on. Next batch mm. coming right up. Hey, don't even think about cutting in line. Fucking A. Wait, I can't even draw my gun out here. I was gonna steal a rat for dinner. Sorry, man. These dogs are all accounted for. Sold out in less than an hour. Try me next week. It's just like a uh, demolition man. Who, who was that? Dennis Leary eating rats down in the sewer in Demolition Man. Great movie. Yes. It's been a while. You don't visit us anymore. Oh, check it out, it's a fight club. First rule of fight club is you don't talk about it though. That's probably just shut me up. Oh, sorry, Tess. Didn't realize you two were together. Go ahead. Yeah, that's what I thought. Trust me, trust me, bro, you don't want to fuck with Joel. He's a killer. Who's that? An old headache. Don't ask. This is another part where I can't run. Oh, and then it just suddenly opened up. Like, it, it was just suddenly enabled. That guy's been hoarding all sorts That's of collectible shit. right there. Whoa, 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 hold up, man. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, she looks familiar. We're gonna meet her pretty soon. Spoilers. That's, uh, what are you doing? Just... Hanging out there. Okay. Whoa! Another collectible. I don't know that I ever found that one before. Fuck this. <laughs> Two fuck this. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Pause the video if you want to read it. There's a lot of documents that, uh, god damn it. I'm looking for Robert. You come through here? Half hour ago. He went back to the wharf. He's there now. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of documents that, like I said, will add a lot to the atmosphere and the story of what's going on. But some of them are just more, like, informational. You can kind of, like, take them or leave them. And I'm, I'm going to try not to be the arbiter of that. I'm going to let you guys decide. Here we go. If that doesn't stand out as a battle area in a video game, I don't know Let what does. Through. You guys need to turn around and head back if you know what's good for you. Our beef isn't with you. We just want Robert. You don't want to do this. Turn the fuck around and leave now. I'm not going anywhere without Robert. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck this. <laughs> Take cover! You ready? Yeah. Well, that escalated cover quickly. You. Get the angle on them. Alright, so I gotta get the angle on this guy. Whoa! Alright, that worked out. 
Glad I didn't get shot there. Woo! Thought I was gonna get shot there. Tess, seriously? You're supposed to be covering me. He's fucking... Alright, I'll do it myself. Fuck it. There you go. I don't think that guy's dead yet. Okay, I think she got him. Oh, I think she got the other guy too. Nope, he's still alive. Damn it. Wasted a shot. You too. Well, luckily he dropped some. Wow, he dropped six. Right. Robert's good at one thing. Writing blank checks. Let's go put an end to that. So I gotta tell you, after playing grounded mode, picking up six <sighs> Not going through uh, here. bullets just hey, seems crazy. Boost me up. Alright, cool. Like I feel like I could just run around popping off shots at random and it wouldn't matter. So I've only ever done one Let's Play so far, and that's Resident Evil 4, which I finished up a couple weeks ago. And with that one, I tried to keep the videos no longer than like 25 minutes. I tried to keep them like around 20 if I Over could. Over here, Joel. I think that was a good pace for that game. For this game, I think the videos are going to end up being a little longer, just because I feel like it lends itself to that. <clears throat> it's kind of a slow-paced game. More Roberts guys. How do you know they're coming? Two of our guys died trying to take Tess out. I guarantee that she and Joel are on their way here right now to get Robert. Jesus. We shouldn't have taken this job. Not our call. Let's spread out and make sure no one's creeping around in here. Can I move? Damn. Alright. Move up. Move up. She just took that dude out with a knife. I don't have a knife, so I'm gonna have to go at it raw. Choke this dude out right here. Anytime you kill somebody, you gotta check them to see if they dropped anything. Alright. I meant to tell you. So that's Tess over there. Let me guess. Fireflies. Yep. I lined them up against the wall and bang, bang, bang. They just executed all of them. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I hear it's like that old city. They just fucking set themselves up to get double teamed right there. Nice. Alright, got the key that we needed. Let's search the area. Health is full. Let's see what we got in here. I thought I saw something gleaming over there. Maybe it's just the light. A lot of damn consumable health items, but that's not what I need. I need other stuff. Hey, consolidated the crate from the South Warehouse. Supplies are locked up. Good. Do another once over and then head out. Alright, so we picked up a bottle. About you can use this in a lot of different tonight. ways. Like Bottles and bricks are like the cornerstone of this game. Check in with the others and come up with something. You can either use them as distractions, you can use them offensively as a ranged weapon, or you can use them to enhance your hand to hand. Move this dude back out of the way so I can strangle him without being seen. Perfect. <laughs> Looks like you are good for something. Oh, fuck you too, Tess. Alright. So in this mode, um... You can kinda, you can get away with just like... Taking out everybody, if you want to. 
in, in uh, harder difficulties, it's definitely in your best interest to just be like as stealthy as possible, not get seen, not engage anybody if you can help it. And there were definitely areas in that game where I just ran straight through and tried not to have to deal with anybody at all. In this mode though, I don't think it'll be such a bad thing. Like, I might just not avoid bad. people if possible, but I'm not gonna, like, shy away from combat either. Alright, those two dudes are walking that way. Ooh, a shiv! Alright, so you can read that there. Shivs allow you to take down an, an enemy with stealth uh, quicker and quieter than it otherwise would have been. But they have very limited uses. They break easy. And once they're gone, they're gone. You can make more by finding stuff. But your resources are extremely limited. I'm waiting for this dude to turn around and see me. Got him. Oh shit, somebody saw me. Where is he? It's good to have you around. Okay, I don't think that dude actually saw me, so I don't know why she started shooting, but I think she alerted him. Alright, I tried to throw the bottle at him, but he was rushing at me. So I'll just beat him to death. Is that everybody now? Nope, there's one more dude down there. Fuck this. Urgh. Yeah, bitch. We should have brought more people. They just slow us down. Yeah, you're right. All right, that's nice. I got a full health Docks kit. This way. And I got a this. shiv. And I think I am done in here. Let's move on. our boy. That cocky son of a bitch. Let's go wrap this up. <laughs> Holy shit, this is a yeah, really well, big we'll area with a lot of dudes in it. Okay. Let's be smart about this. There's a lot of now there's probably a lot of different ways to get through here. I kind of tend to stick to the outside. And just kind of take out anybody in my way, along the way. Going outside the wall is suicide. Is that dude talking to somebody? I guess he's talking to somebody far away. I don't really want to take him out while he's engaged in conversation. So I'm just going to keep moving. So uh, bricks and bottles serve like the exact same purpose and they're almost the same but bricks are a little bit better in my opinion for a reason that I will have to show you later. I'm getting so lucky right now. I didn't even know that dude was there. back here and strangle him. Hopefully I don't get seen. Perfect. And I think there's one more guy up here. Robert must have run in there. Let's Shit. go. Hit the wrong button. Alright. What was that? Yeah, what the hell was that? <laughs> Now I'm gonna hurry up and get the hell out of here before anyone else shows up. Ah, nice and quiet. Excellent. Get back in the 
fuck this! You just want to talk, Robert. We well, got fucking nothing to talk about. Put your gun down. Go fuck yourself. He's running. Robert. I wonder how all those gunshots here. didn't fall down the other eight thousand guys that were out there. But I'm glad that they didn't. Oh, that's not the right way. Where'd he go? Here we go. Oh, hello, Robert. <laughs> Tess. Joel. No hard feelings, right? None at all. Alright. <laughs> oh, God damn it! We missed you. Look. Whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I, I just want to say... The guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? Yeah, sure, but... It's complicated. Right. Hmm. Look, all right, just hear me out on this. I got... <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, stop! 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 Oh, Quit your squirming. You were saying? I sold them. Excuse me. I didn't have much of a choice. I owed someone. You owed us. I'd say you bet on the wrong horse. I just need more time. Just, uh, give me a week. You know, I might have done that if you hadn't tried to fucking kill me. Come on, it won't Who like has that. our guns? I can't. You <sighs> just give me a couple of <gasps> oh, Who has our guns? the fireflies I owe the fireflies what Look, they're basically all dead we, we can just just go in there finish them off we get the guns what do you say come on yeah, fuck those fireflies just go get them that is a stupid idea Cold. Well, now what? We go get our merchandise back. How? I don't know. We explain it to them. Look, let's, let's go find a firefly. We won't have to look very far. There you go. Queen firefly. Why are you here? Business. You aren't looking so hot. Where's Robert? I needed him alive. The guns he gave you, they weren't his to sell. I want them back. Doesn't work like that, Tess. The hell it doesn't. I paid for those guns. You want them back? You're gonna have to earn them. How many cards are we talking about? <laughs> I don't give a damn about ration cards. I need something smuggled out of the city. You do that, I'll give you your guns back. Then some. How do we know you got them? Well, I hear the military's been wiping you guys out. You're right about that. I'll show you the weapons. Search the area. Yes, sir. I gotta move. What's it gonna be? I wanna see those guns. Follow me. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this part right here. Now. We'll pick up here next time. Thanks for watching. I'm Dude Long Couch. Check me out at grownersgamers.com. And I'll see you next time.